Hello, welcome to our lesson on adding and subtracting polynomials. Today we're going to talk about how adding and subtracting polynomials is very similar to comparing apples and oranges, or apples and oranges and strawberries. It's kind of like you've got two, each set of parentheses here is like two different bags containing all sorts of different type of fruit. In this one we have two apples, we have three oranges, we have six strawberries. And then from that bag, we are subtracting three apples, two oranges, and one strawberry. So that's what we're doing. Now, we'll convert those into variables later. But basically, when you have two of something, and three of something else, and six of something else, like in this case, apples, oranges, and strawberries, but in the future, we may say 2x, 3y, 6z, um, and then you're subtracting. 3x, 2y, and 1z. And so in this case, what we do is when we're subtracting 3, we would say minus 3. Then we're also subtracting 2 oranges. And we're also subtracting 1 strawberry. So we have to remember that when we're taking from this original set of parentheses, we are subtracting each type from the second set of parentheses. So that's all that's changed in the second line. And in the third line, what I've done is I've joined together like terms. So I'll have all of my apples over here, and then my oranges follow, and my strawberries last. And in the final part of the solution here, we notice that I do have one negative apple. Um, unfortunately, this is when my analogy breaks down, because you can't have a negative apple inside of a bag. But basically, we get the, the idea. We have two apples minus three, you get negative one. You have three oranges minus two oranges, you would have one orange left. And then six strawberries minus the one strawberry, you would have five strawberries. This is exactly the same thing that we're going to do with polynomials, except that instead of saying apples, orange, strawberries, we're going to put in variables there. Let's go ahead and take a look at one. Here's an example. Our variable in this one is x squared. Our next variable is x. These are not the same thing. That means like two apples and three oranges. And we're adding to that bag three apples and negative three oranges. All right? You can't join together these terms. The x squared and the x cannot be joined together because they're different, just like apples and oranges. So in this case, we're adding the other bag, so we'll distribute that plus to each term in the parentheses. So plus 3x squared and plus negative 3x, in other words, minus 3x. I'm going to move around my terms so that they line up with each other. And you'll end up with 2x squared plus 3x squared and positive 3x minus 3x. And you'll notice I'm going to join together these terms that are exactly the same the variable is exactly the same. So I'll end up with 5x squared and 0x's because we have 3 minus 3. And so our final answer will just be 5x squared. And continuing on with our food theme, we're going to have, I don't know, this is 5 ice creams maybe. With a bit of a larger polynomial here, we are adding again, so we're going to add 4a. We're going to add negative 2ab. And we're going to add a positive b. So in our first step, it will look like this. Then we will join our like terms together. We'll put our a's together. We'll put our ab's together. And we'll put our b's at the end together. And then we'll join them together. 3a plus 4a is 7a negative AB minus 2AB will give us minus 3AB. And then 2B plus B will give us 3B. Again, this is our final answer. You can't join these things together. It's like having 7 of something, minus 3 of something, and then positive 3 of something else. Because they are different variables, you can't join them together. Just like you can't join together different types of food. All right. Let's look at our next question. This time we'll be subtracting polynomials. I'm going to distribute that negative to each term inside of the parentheses. So I'm going to be subtracting 3x squareds, negative 3xy's. 
So minus negative 3 will give us a positive 3xy. And then we will be subtracting y squared. We'll also join together like terms. And when we have our like terms joined together, now we're going to go ahead and subtract 3x squared minus 3x squared will give us 0x squared. We have negative 2xy plus 3xy. That will leave us with one positive xy. We have 2y squared and negative y squared, so we're going to end up with just one y squared. I like this example, and I put in all these ones and zeros to kind of show us a little bit. When you've got a zero in front of a variable, that means zero times x squared, and that means that it will cancel out and disappear. When we have a one in front of a variable, it's one times xy, so we'll just end up with xy. Same with the final term, one times y squared, we'll just simply end up with y squared. Here's our final problem that we're going to look at. Um, when you have a variable like x squared, y squared, that is the entire variable. So x squared, y squared is one variable, x squared, y is a different variable, and x, y squared is again a different variable. Each of these is a separate and distinct variable. It's like apples, oranges, bananas, plums, and pears, or whatever. What we're going to do now is subtract everything we have inside here. So we'll subtract 2x squared y squared. We'll subtract x y squared. And we'll subtract negative 2, or in other words, we will add 2 at the end. We'll join together our like terms. We have um, an x squared y squared here. And we have an x squared y squared there. So we'll put those two together. We have 1 x squared y, and that's this one, this 2x squared y. That's our only x squared y. So we can't do anything with that. We'll then put together our negative 3xy squared with our xy squared, because they're exactly the same variable. And then we have xy, and then our numbers at the end. When we join together those like terms, we'll have 3 minus 2 is 1 of these x squared y squareds. We only have one to one of the x squared y's, and that's the value of 2, so 2 x squared y. Then we'll join together negative 3 and negative 1, which will give us negative 4 x y squared. And then we have a positive x y and just a positive 1 at the end. Now, I did put a 1 in front there. You don't need that, um, because like I said, 1 times x squared y squared will simply leave us with x squared y squared. So that would be our final answer there. All right, And that is the end of this short lesson on adding and subtracting polynomials. I hope that it's been helpful for you. I know it was kind of quick and a lot of things on there. Have a wonderful day.